Hi, welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrain with a splendid baby grand piano, an American-made Chickering. Once the largest piano company in America, Chickering goes back to the early 1800s, decades before other piano companies even thought about making pianos. This instrument is from the 1960s, and it is an extraordinary five foot two baby grand with beautiful French provincial styling. At a time, the Chickering was owned by Aeolian, the same producer of Mason and Hamlin pianos and many other fine American pianos. Since it's not so old, it is largely original and plays beautifully and has that characteristic Chickering sound that if you've never heard, you're in for a real treat. I'm gonna start off with a very delicate, simple piece. The second movement of the famous Clementi Sonatina, Opus 36, number one, the slow movement, it's simple and lyrical, so you can hear the beauty of tone, unadulterated by any kind of extraneous notes. The action is very refined and smooth. There's very little wear on the piano. The furniture looks gorgeous. It's all around fine piano in good condition. As years go on, there are fewer and fewer American pianos like this left. That's why it's such a treasure to encounter a piano like this. It also is more compact. This was originally from the quarter piano design, which is what Chickering called their, one of the earliest baby grands ever made. And you notice it's a little bit narrower, even though it has the full 88 keys, the cheek blocks on either side of the keys are not quite as big as some pianos, so you can get this in the spaces where other baby grands won't fit. Well, let's hear how it opens up with a little bit of Chopin. I'm going to play just a little excerpt from the third ballade in A-flat. It shows a wide range from the top to the bottom, loud, soft. It's got it. It has it all in a small excerpt for you. <laughs>
The ballad actually goes on from there, and those of you who are intimately familiar with it knows <laughs> that I changed the end just to make a nice ending for you. But we're not through yet. You know, when I get pianos in, a lot of times they inspire different performances off the top of my head, and I'm going to be brave now and just try to play something without any preconceived notions at all and just let the sound of this beautiful chickering bring about some kind of musical statement for you. Let's see what happens. That's why I love having all these pianos around here at Living Pianos. Uh, it, everyone brings different performances, not only to the music that I create on the spot, but each classical piece that I've played for years, some of them, inspires different performances. Every piano has a unique voice. It's like having conversations with different friends. It's never the same conversation, is it? I hope this has been enlightening for you. Once again, this is Robert Esser here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store. See you next time.